Hello, all of my beautiful Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign friends. My name is Lachan with Power Life Hypnosis, and this is your June 2017 Love and Money reading. As always, I would like to say thank you so much to all of those who have thumbs up and liked my videos. Thank you to all of those who have commented and shared my videos. And thank you to all of my old subscribers as well as all of my new subscribers. I appreciate the support from you all so much. If you would like to book a private reading with me, please email me today at powerlifehypnosis at gmail.com. If you're single and interested in learning about your future long-term romantic partner, please email me. I do future partner readings in which I will provide you with some details as to when you will meet your partner, where you meet your partner, what your partner looks like, how to recognize your partner, as well as align yourself with your partner. Also, per your request, I am now doing extended future partner readings in which I'll provide you with some extended guidance as to how to align yourself with your future partner and the relationship that you've been dreaming for. So again, please email me today if you're interested at powerlifehypnosis at gmail.com. All the details for private readings as well as future partner readings are in the description box below. And I also have testimonials from past future partner readings if you're interested. So please check those out as well. These are general readings, so the messages may or may not resonate with you because they are for every Sagittarius. If the messages do not resonate with you, please check your moon and rising sign videos. And if they do, please check your moon and rising sign videos anyway because that way you'll be able to get a more complete picture of your love and money during the month of June 2017. So now I will go ahead and get started. So first Sagittarius, I'm going to go into your love messages predict your love predictions, then your love oracle guidance, and then I'll go into your financial messages. So let's go ahead and get started. So my friends, so for your love romantic relationships during the month of June 2017, the first prediction I have for you is, so the stork, the letter, as well as the moon. So Sagittarius, it looks like during the month of June, many of you are going to be talking to other people or talking to romantic interests via text message, via internet, via typing, written message, because that's what this letter card stands for. It stands for written messages. Um, there can also be some invitations as well. So it looks like some of you will be sending messages back and forth to a romantic interest or a romantic partner. And if it's just a romantic interest, you'll be sending these messages and there'll be a lot of seduction, sensuality, passion going on. But there's a lot of speaking of romance and wonderful things like that going on. Some of you could be talking to someone, sending messages back and forth in a new romance as well. I see that as a big possibility. Some of you will be going on wonderful dates. And this could come through invitation. So for some of you, there may be some invitations going on to where you invite someone over on a date or a new romantic situation. But I do see here, again, written communication going on. So that will be the focus for you. All righty. So, and the start card also stands for improvements for the better. So it looks like... Um, your communication with, um, you know, romantic interests will change for the better, improve, um, and be filled with a lot of passion, uh, excitement, romance, and wonderful things like that. Again, dates may be coming up also. So the next production I have for you is from my Kipper Oracle deck, the German Cardamancy Method. And I have here, sad news, meetings as well as receiving a gift. So, all right. So taking these three cards together, I see that there's going to be something going on around socializing, around getting together with this person, connecting with this person, communicating with this person. And I see here that there may be some news, some bad news that happens because of this sad news card. Something doesn't work out exactly how you want it to. There may be some disappointment or something like that. However, we have this receiving a gift card on the end. 
which means that everything is going to work out because this is a very positive card. So even though you get some sad news regarding um, meeting this other person, socializing with this other person, connecting with a romantic interest or something like that, it looks like it could turn out for the better because ultimately things are going to work out in your favor. So that's the prediction I have for you. Now let's get into your Oracle guidance for your love and romantic relationships. Okay. So for your love and romantic relationships, I have here number 50, no place like home. Number 16 in the reverse protection message of this card, dark side of this card, all that glitters as well as a protection message, dark side of blessed, card number 22. All right, so taking these three cards together, it looks like during the month of June, you will be feeling at home with yourself, comfortable with yourself. You're in your authentic, comfortable zone. So that's a wonderful, wonderful thing. You're feeling comfortable and safe in your own skin, and you know who you are during the month of June. So that's great. For those of you who are in couples, it looks like your relationship will be comfortable um, and you're going to feel at home in your established relationship. So that's great. But again, this speaks, this speaks of feeling at home, comfortable with yourself in your own skin. You know who you are during the month of June when it comes to love and finances and how I'm sorry, love and finances, love and romance and how you fit in with love and romance, if that makes sense. Okay, so... The next card that I have here is number 16, All That Glitters. And this card speaks of walking away from something because it's a warning card and it says that there may be a person, there may be a situation that presents itself to you during the month of June in which there is sparkly on the outside. However, there is, you know, sheer terror on the inside. I want to say sparkly on the outside and just malt liquor on the inside. I don't know why I want to say that. However, so this is saying that, you know, there may be a person or situation that looks appealing to you. However, underneath, it's just all bad. And this is a warning to say to stay away from this situation, stay away from this person. This is spirit, God, universe, your higher power sending you a warning in this message to not get involved with this person because if you do, things will not turn out in your favor and things will not end well. So that is what I see here for that. And then we have here the blessed card in the reverse. And this blessed card is saying that during the month of June in your love and romantic relationships, you may have a feeling as though you hit rock bottom. However, this situation has nothing to do with you. I feel as though it has some everything um, to do with this person who's in this represented by this all that glitters card but these are general readings so take this however this resonates with you so I see here so this blessed card is speaking that is speaking of you know you may feel as though you've hit rock bottom however this is not your fault so the best thing to do is just surrender to the experience accept this experience as it is and do something differently when this experience presents itself because if you do what you always did, you'll get what you always got. So do something different. Go about things a different way. You know, do, do different actions. Take a risk. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and get into your finances and how to improve your finances during the month of June. Okay, so my Sagittarius friends, for the month of June, in order to increase your finances, wealth, abundance, I have here for you, the first card is the Knight of Swords in the upright. Showing money should be good, coming in. Okay, so I have the Ten of Wands, yes, <laughs> in the reverse, <clears throat> excuse me, as well as the Magician, Major Arcana card in the reverse. So, Knight of Swords, Ten of Wands, as well as the Magician card. Ten of Wands in the reverse, Magician in the reverse. All right, so taking these three cards together, the Knight of Swords card says that money should be good, money should be coming in. It says that some of you may receive some unexpected money that comes to you in the form of cash or I'm sorry, excuse me, or the return of an investment or something like that. However, if that does happen, 
do not spend it all in one place. Make sure to hold on to something or hold on to some of that. Don't just go on and spend it um, recklessly. And this 10 of Wands card is, again, saying don't be too extravagant in your spending, even if the burden, your financial burden is lifting. Because even if money comes in, that does not mean that the best thing to do is just go buck wild and go spending your money. So please keep that in mind. So for those of you who feel like money may not be going well, this is saying not to panic. This magician card may be saying you, you may feel as though you're stuck when it comes to your finances. However, money can improve if you make the conscious effort, if you make the effort in order to make more money. Because the, the magician card stands for having all the elements and being able to work things out in your favor, manifest things in your favor, put things together so they work out for you. So in the reverse, this is saying that things can get better and things can work out for you if you put effort into finances and improving your finances. For example, thinking about new ways to make money and increase your finances. And that will be a wonderful venture for you during the month of June because it's likely that this venture will pay off more than you expected. So please go into that. And I'm hearing creativity as well, creative projects for some of you, because the magician, um, you know, he also creates by putting things together. But that's just also something that I, I heard from my guide. So for some of you, it may be um, creative endeavors going very well. So the last card I have for you for your finances, in order to increase your finances during the month of June, I have here work. And this card says, start where you stand and work with whatever tools you may have at your command. And better tools will be found as you go along. So this is saying to start where you are when it comes to making money, if it comes to projects and things like that. Start where you are and use what you have. You know, if you're a small, you know, if you're just starting out, for example, small business or something like that, you're just starting out, start with what you have as opposed to just investing all of your money all at once into something because you will have better tools. You'll be able to gain more tools for your work as you go along, as you gain more success. So those are the messages that I have for you, my wonderful Sagittarius friends. Thank you so much for listening to this reading, for watching this video. Please thumbs up and like this video if the messages resonate with you. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, please email me today at powerlifehypnosis at gmail.com. And if you're interested in learning about your future long-term romantic partner, email me today, powerlifehypnosis at gmail.com. Thank you so much, my wonderful, wonderful Sagittarius friends. And I look forward to seeing you all here again very, very soon. Bye, everyone.